task 11 C in your page 157 on the test book asks you to add new field and date and you, if you read the question carefully they are actually asking you to do three things or you can break this big problem into three smaller problems and then you deal with them one by one so the first one is open the file that you save in your last task at 11b the second one is add a new field to the data base called pd date and then you add the purchase date of September 20th for the next record so you've got a database it's got many records one record for one car now the car dealer has got another car in the car yard for sale so you need to add the information to the database so that everyone in the company can get the latest up-to-date information now how do you do it? solution open the database so how do you do it? my database for the car yard database is in here in my document on the C drive uh, store your document in the C drive will be faster to retrieve and save but it's important you have to uh, have a backup copy somewhere else so access tasks is this one and then uh, I have the um, ta access task number two this is the database okay I have opened the database this is the first one open the database I did it now I want you to pause this video and you work on your own database and try to complete this step number one so on three you pause one two three now I continue your next task is to open the table uh, table cards that's your the main database so to finish this one again you look at here your database that you have just opened you come here and you have to open the cars table that's this one okay all these underneath here are the queries and the tasks you have done but this time you are starting a new task on this database so you must come back to this main task the main table so you click open here so they want you to add a new field purchase date here okay initially you have all this information for every card now the manager think that it's necessary to add one more item of information on the database it's called purchase date that will give you important information as to how long this car has been sitting in the car yard in the business term the longer a car is sitting in your car yard not sold that means it's costing you the money the ideal situation is you buy the car the second hand car in the morning and sell it in the afternoon if it sits there for 10 days or 2 months then it's costing the company money anyway so you have to add the purchase day and then you have to add the date here okay so you have done the second step open the table cards now I want you to pause the video a second time and complete step number two on your own access so on three you pause and work on your own one two three pause now I continue you click the design view okay when you're on the database you click the design view so this is what they mean design view this is the database on access this is the database 
it's in here data sheets view so this is data sheet view this is the view that this is what it will look like if you print out on paper and you are not allowed to make any changes here this one way that the computer or the SS developer ensure the accuracy of the data you put in so that's why they on purpose they want you to go to design view they set up a design view so that you can make changes necessary changes so you click here now it was here like this and if you click here design view you have this area for you to make any changes you want so when you are here you just type in p date so you've got the one more columns here okay you type them in and then in here because it's purchasing day so which one would you choose would you choose test so that you can type the words in or would you like to put in number no the answer is no they are not relevant now SS has a data type that you can use it's called date and time so this is specifically for you uh, for the field where you want to put in date and time so obviously you choose this one so when you are here then you have chosen the date but there were many different ways to show the date so you click here once you click here you got a little triangle and you click this triangle you have one two three four five six seven different ways of showing dates and time so you can choose any one of these okay so maybe I choose the short date So it's been chosen so now the changes has been done if you go back to the normal view or the data sheets view you will see the changes so you come back here again so you have done the work at the workshop now you want to put your work to the display room now so let's go to the display room database data sheets view here you must first save the table okay I must save this one because I have done the changes so it's done so the P day will be here and it will the date will be shown the way you want and it's here okay so now we have done this click the design view the step 3 has done and then step four go back to the database view and then you will see the job is done and by the way just now I did not show you there if you want to put in a date there's a little calendar a little calendar here if you click you have this date here then you can choose whatever date you want and you don't even have to type okay so this is the tutorial about how add new fields in in add new fields and date and I have also explained the data type okay so this is the end of this recording about task 11c thank you